what she's done for this league. She's legitimized this league. She's taken a league of whiny, preachy, arrogant, narcissistic, mean-spirited losers and turned them into a product that was watchable while she was on the court. She's bigger than this league. Her fans are bigger than the league. She could go start her own league. And I'm not joking. The Brianna Stewart and the FISA, the Nefertiti Collison, whatever her name is. Um, and shout out to her, man. Shout out to Nefertiti Collison, man. She um and Brenda Stevenson. Brenda Stevenson and Nefertiti Collison are starting unrivaled, right? And the reason I'm calling you women out of your name, I'm calling you names other than what your mama and your daddy gave you at birth, is because I'm making a point. Brenda Stevenson and Nefertiti Collison. That's who you are to 99% of the people who watch the games this year. They don't know you. They only were introduced to you when Caitlin Clark introduced them to you. And for that, none of you guys stood up for her. None of you guys said, hey, man, turn down the temperature, man. It's getting, you know, it's getting hot in here. Y'all, y'all coming in hot with this girl. Like, give her, you know, don't let her score because, I mean, that's what they always try to say. What you want them to let her score? No, don't let her score because no, y'all not gonna do that. Like y'all did Angel Reese. Y'all let Angel Reese score, but we know you're not gonna let Angel. You're not gonna let Caitlin Clark score. But no one ever stood up for. No, no one ever uh, got out a press conference and like they do, like they've been doing all week, getting that press conference and 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 and, and getting on Twitter and writing think pieces. No one ever did any of that. Not you, Brenda Stevens. Not you, Nefertiti Collison. No. Your team had the best record in the league, Brenda Stevens, and nobody knows you. You don't have any fans, anybody who just come to see you play. Okay. That's the point I'm making by calling you guys out of your names. You're anonymous. If you were normal, average size, walking down the street, no one would no one would know who you are. You guys are like 6'4", so people are like, who is that tall chick? Oh, she thinks she's playing the WNBA or something. What's her name? Brenda Stevens and Nefertiti Collison? Just like y'all started your own league, Caitlin could start her own league. And she would have way more sponsors. You think Dave Portnoy wouldn't sponsor Caitlin Clark's league? Hmm? You think any you think Elon Musk wouldn't sponsor Caitlin Clark's league? Invest in it. You think any businessman with half a brain wouldn't invest in Caitlin Clark if she started her own league to rival your unrivaled? To show you that. Your league is not unrivaled. It could be easily be rivaled. And Caitlin Clark could go out there and, and select 
a bunch of players that y'all you only got 30 players in your league. Caitlin Clark could take the next best 30 players. And nobody will watch your project. She could go head to head with y'all. She could put her games on right at the same time as your games. Be petty. And your league would tank. And the commissioner, Kathy Engelbert, another one who never at any point during the year between her public statements about how Caitlin's fans need to stop being racist. I think she released like four or five of those throughout during the course of the year. No, at no point during it, any of that time did she take one second to release a statement saying, look, the temperature is high in this league. We really appreciate, appreciate Caitlin, even though it may not appear that way. The women are just competing. Um, we're going to take steps to make sure that while they're competing at a high level, that things stay within the um, framework of competitive basketball and don't venture into the venture into the lane of being something nasty and unsportsmanlike. Never once did she do that. All she did was keep writing public statements, subtweeting Caitlin Clark fans and calling us racist and co-signing all the lies that um, <laughs> the WNBA players did. Caitlin, one day, she needs to consider starting her own 303 league in the summer. I mean, in the winter, so she can keep herself fresh and Keep herself in basketball shape. Half court, three on three. Take, and then listen, even more so than that, Kathy, you need to be lucky. You need to pray to God that Caitlin doesn't start load managing. Could you imagine if Caitlin load managed? If she said, you know what? I'm only going to play 32 of the 40 games this year. I'm going to play 30 of the games. I'm not playing any back-to-backs. You you had us playing um 11 games in 20 days to start the season last year. Um so this year, you know, I'm going to I'm not playing any back-to-backs. Could you imagine if Caitlin said next year she's not playing any back-to-backs and she's not playing any um, two games in three nights? And then on random nights, she's just going to show up to the, to the the um, on the bench in street clothes? Could you imagine that? If she did like NBA players and load managed? She played every night 39 minutes a game. getting poked in the eye, getting body checked, getting clothesline, getting smeared as a racist, having her fans smeared as racist. And never once did anyone associated with this league step up and take up for her and defend her publicly. Never once. Not one person in the league. Hit the like button, get in the comment section. Peace. I'm out of here.